Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episodes 5 and 6 of the Kevi Chan Sailing Uniforms. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 5 and 3, 2, 1, go. Mangatsu dorm Dormitory? Mm, yeah, Mangatsu Dormitory. A girl that likes bugs, I thought I'd never see the day. And there she is. Like that. That right there, that's a beautiful shot. It is freezing in here, and I got a freaking big body and headache. <laughs> I mean, I would go get me something to eat, but, like, I'm not going to be able to eat till, like, 2 in the morning, and that's going to be my dinner, and I don't know what the heck I'm going to eat. I should have ate before I started, but nope. Why don't you go talk to her? I know them eyes. So this is now what? Girl five? Who has fallen in love with her?
Oh, you marked down everything that you see. Cool. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Let's get a run and start, baby. A cubby. I literally cannot wait until we get the episode focus on her. Yeah, unfortunately, you're not supposed to really interact into it, but it's okay. <laughs> Confession, maybe? Yeah, I think she's confessing. Yeah, remember, you're supposed to just observe. Yeah, I mean, come on, it's obvious. She's confessing. <laughs> what the fuck? Hmm.
observing people in the natural habitats. Heck, I thought it was a confession. Ah! <laughs> Hold up. Is it really this necessary to do this? <laughs> uh oh, don't sneeze. Poor baby. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I mean, you naturally have to keep pictures of all of them. Oh. Beautiful. It's strange like how. Oh, the girl before the eye catch? Mm-hmm. 
Maybe she's jealous that you're being friends with it. <laughs> Not even the kilo alien. Oh my god. Adorable. You want to be friends with her, right? Right, you right. You know, sometimes we need that scream. Sick. Baby. Oh. I'm happy. Ain't that funny? Keep it. <laughs> Ain't it funny how it works in mysterious ways? So that makes six girls now. <laughs> yeah.
That was cute. Of course. <laughs> that was cute. Oh my god. They so fucking adorable. Once again, the Yuri is strong with this show, even though it's not really Yuri, but you know, you got Yuri feels up into it. I'm just saying, but it's good. I like it. I like it a lot. Um,. I'm gonna call her Kuma. Kuma is adorable. She kind of reminds me a little bit of, um, what is your name? There, there's so many characters that she kind of reminds me of. But she gives me, like, Animal Crossing vibes, especially because of the fact that she really likes bugs and wants to do the study of insects and everything. I think that's really cool because we've never, I've never seen a girl wanting to do studying insects and stuff. Normally, most of us girls are either in medicine, fashion, um, something with math, scientific, as never really, you know, bugs. Like, ish. I've only seen that in, like, TV shows and cartoons and ish. But, yeah. And then the fact is that someone from her past, who she gave, like, have you gave her handkerchief to, would end up coming up and being in her present timeline. That's so freaking cute. Honestly, she kind of reminded me a little bit of Mio from K-On! But then her voice kind of reminds me of the girl from Azumanga Daio. I don't remember her name because it's been such a freaking long time since I've seen Azumanga Daio. Like, that was elementary slash really more middle school Deja. And... That was when, like, ADD Films still had say the, the rights to Sailor Moon in it. And, and I was like, you know what? I've seen this on my freaking DVD for Sailor Moon. I'm going to watch this show. And it was one of the greatest things that I ever experienced. Because <laughs> that crap is, like, so funny. I think it's to the point of, I think I still have, um... I do! <laughs> right here. Hold on. Let me get them. It's going to be a little hard because I have a couple other things over here, too. Let's see. Yep. Volume 1 of Azumanga Daio and Volume 3. And then the spinoff series, Yotsuba, who has also been created by Azumanga Daio. And I forgot that I actually had it. <laughs> Until I looked. <laughs> but when I was in, um, I was still in elementary school at the time, I read the crap out of these. I never got to finish the whole entire series because... The one thing that I always truly really hated about going to Barnes and Nobles, and it, it's still like that even now when you go to Barnes and Nobles, and you're like, oh, hey, here's volume one. And then you go maybe like two or three months later trying to look for volume two, and volume two is in there. <laughs> so if I ever really had a chance to complete that series, I would complete it in a heartbeat. Because Azuma Dayo is such a really funny heartless, lovable, weird anime, but it is still good as fuck. But yes, this was a really interesting episode. Once again, I'm loving, la 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 loving the fact that we are still getting, like, other character development who are the main focus. 
with a Kevi as the secondary character. I think that is so good. That's so brilliant. I really wish a lot more animes will do that. <laughs> Magical girl show that we've talked about in the last two episodes. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Or just really any anime in general, because I get it. It is hard to really try to, you know, have a show that is about this one person. And then when you're trying to get an episode about another person and still trying to give that main character that focus at the same time. Don't get me wrong. It is hard. I've seen it in like live action shows and other things that I've watched. But it's like, come on now. You can do it. <laughs> but if it's really you, like, oh, baby, just grew her heart on me for more. So good job, Akemi. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode six. Okay, episode six in three, two, one, go. She does, really. Like, I mean, damn, she is over here putting freaking Megami. Oh, she plays the violin. Oh. I mean, in a way, she's kind of like a prodigy. Hmm? <laughs> well, probably the biggest reason on why you, she's staring at you like that is because it's your turn to get an entire episode focused on you. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Heck, your girl even got snacks. I got grapes. I gotta eat something before I eat my dinner at 2 in the morning. How you open these? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh my god, these are so big behind grapes. About. Yeah, okay, the one that you immediately fell in love with. I still love the fact that they are playing mother and daughter. And, you know, after just watching, March comes in like a lion. <laughs>
Well, we both know that's a lie. You want to go with me? Animal Crossing. <laughs> Can I come over your house? She wants to come see you! Bing bong! <laughs> oh, poor babies. Yuri bait once again. Because I, I could not imagine all y'all who are watching this show seeing any moment with a cabbie and someone here like, oh my god, they're giving it to us, but at the same time they are teasing y'all so much. Both of these girls wore two different things for their date. <laughs> What are we love live in it now? Sunshine? <laughs> she wasn't drowning. Well, yeah. Okay, B.
That would give me red grapes to have cheese in it. Like, oh my god, for the last nine minutes. I've been picking cheese out of the red grapes. <laughs> I'm getting all the layback camp and um, the uh, the fishing anime feels. I love it. Hey, she going old school. Sometimes you gotta do that. Just tells you she's very skillful. Mm. Damn. Don't got anything yet? You want to try something else? Oh, it's going to get caught by something. Mark.
Should have. Take her to your house. I know, it's so cute! <laughs> I mean, you might as well call her Erica. You got jealous. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me.
Yeah, we better get another freaking episode where Erica visits. Girlfriends. Watch her put the picture of her and, <laughs> and Erica up as her home wallpaper, her lock screen. I think this is probably not my favorite episode. Oh my god. Like, one, to see, like, Erica go fishing because, like, Erica is best girl and such. And she seems like such a prodigy as character, especially with, like, her violin. So I am kind of hoping that we do get to see a little bit more of her playing her violin. Because all, any, any anime where it has characters playing instruments or singing, I am a sucker for. We all know that. Mm. But yeah, seeing her fish, I mean, how, like I said, it gave me hella feels to lay back camp and the fishing anime with the cute girls and ish that I watched last season and how much I loved the crap out of that and was super sad that that ended. But I love the fact that, you know, Erica is now going to call a Kevy Kalina. That's so cute. Like, oh, they're now on a first name basis. Like, oh, the, the relationship between them. They're girlfriends. They went from friends, no, they went from acquaintances to friends, to friends, to girlfriends. They're dating. They've been dating technically since episode one. But so, this episode finally made it official. Like, ooh. That's so fucking cute. Like, oh my god, in the photo shoot that they had, and that they played in the water. Oh my god. That was so fucking cute. And the fact that Erica finally met her mom, Akebi's mom and sister, like, oh. That was good. That was also the, like, other most part of this episode because I'm so happy because for the longest time, of course, Akabi wanted to have some of her friends come over her house and, you know, me because, yeah, she went to the dormitory just, like, two episodes ago. So I was like, yeah, when is somebody going to come to your house? Like, you just know, like, when you, when you have a group of friends and you really get to know your group of friends and you eventually go over to their house because you want to see what they're like when they're not at school and they're not at work or whatever, and you see a different side of them. And then, you know, they want to kind of see the same thing about you. Like, we got to see that today. And I really enjoyed that. I thought that was very, very sweet. Very cute. Once again, the art, you know, you're doing it. You're doing it for me, and I freaking love it. Like, heck, even the cute Yuri moments between them is so fucking cute. Them in the library, Erica getting, like, really close to her face where it looked like she kissed her cheek. That was adorable. Like, oh, my Yuri heart with the fangirling. Like, I can't. Even though I ain't fangirl inside, I was like, oh, my God, that's so fucking cute. I can't. But, yeah, I like, once again, this is probably now my favorite episode. <laughs> For the entirety of the series, probably until we get into the second half, indicating episodes 7 to 12, and to see how this show ends. Because now I have three more hours left before I'm done with this show, and then probably maybe after that. That is when I'll probably see, like, if this episode is still personally my fave. But yeah, as of right now, this is the new fave for this show. But <laughs> wrong thing. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episodes 5 and 6 of A Kevy Chan Say the Uniform. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next time for episodes 7 and 8. Bye, guys.